you're here at Family Day, tell me, what's your favorite family memory? Oh gosh, wow, a lot. Uh, my family and I go on a lot of family trips when we can. We just went to San Diego for New Year's. Not, I mean, that isn't recent, but it was a very fun trip. And we also went to Hawaii this summer. And we've been to Hawaii several times, and I'd have to say it's not only a beautiful place, but it's just such a great environment to like relax in and just hang out with the family and be chill. So I'd say like any trip that we've ever taken to Hawaii. Okay, so when you're not in Hawaii, when you're here in LA, how do you like to relax? How do you like to wind down? Um, <laughs> sleep, one, because I don't get a lot of that because I'm always working. Um, lots of sleep. I like to, you know, watch Netflix sometimes, just hang out. I also have um, like a little pool in my backyard. So sometimes when it's like a nice day outside, my whole family and I will barbecue and just hang out by the pool. We have like a little TV out there, so it's just nice to cool down there sometimes. <laughs> And what's your guilty pleasure on Netflix, your favorite show to watch? Breaking Bad. <laughs> um, let's see, what else have I gotten into lately? I feel like there's another show. Oh, I watched the whole season, or both seasons of Orange is the New Black. So I, I binge watched that one. Uh, I want season three to come out already. <laughs> so yeah, those two shows. I am like diehard fan. And you mentioned you're working all the time, um, and Lab Rats is filming again. So what's it like behind the scenes? It's fun. It's great. Uh, I work with a bunch of boys. So conversations can get pretty interesting sometimes. Boys will be boys, you know? Uh, but I love them so much. They're like brothers to me, and we're constantly hanging out with each other and pranking each other every once in a while. And just, it's very fun on set. It doesn't feel like work. It feels like we're going to just hang out and have fun and like act a little bit. <laughs> and do you guys have to do school on the set? How does that work? Uh, I did school on set for three years, um, but I graduated this year, so now I don't have to do school on set. Thank you. But it was, it was tough because I was trying to balance full-time school and full-time work um, because I, I wasn't homeschooled. I was still part of a public school. So I basically, like, when everyone was wrapped at 3 o'clock to go home for the day, I would stay till 6. And I took all those hours to do school and just get my diploma, and I finally did it, and I'm happy that I did. So. Oh, congrats. That's huge. And what's the first thing you did when you graduated? Um, threw my hat up in the air, of course. <laughs> um, I just, I celebrated. I had a little small party with my family and close friends, and it's so weird because it didn't hit me until like a week later, and I was like, wait. I don't have to go back to school shopping. Like, I don't have to go get textbooks. This is so weird. And so, like, I have a couple friends out who are seniors in high school, and I'm just like, have fun. <laughs> in there have fun. Yeah, they'll get through it. So can you give us a little bit as a sneak preview of what's next with Lab Rats? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's some stuff that I really want to say, but I don't think I'm allowed to say yet. What I can say, though, is that there's a drastic change um, in the setting like a huge change. No one's going to see it coming, honestly. Um, lots and lots of fight scenes that are even bigger and better, season three and four. Um, and a couple new characters who are regularly on the show now that will be introduced. And uh, it's cool because, I, I mean, like I want to say, but if I tell you, it'll give away what happens at the end of season three, so you guys will have to watch. Um, but a lot has changed. Yeah. <laughs> so you mentioned there's a lot of fight scenes. What is, what's it like preparing for those? It's great. I actually just did one this week. Um, you wake up with a lot of bruises, <laughs> very sore the next day, but they're cool because I, I like to do the stunts that I can do and the fighting that I'm able to do without totally hurting myself. And that's when they get the stunt double involved and doing flips in the air. I'm like, I'll leave that to you. Uh, but it's fun. I, I start practicing them at the beginning of the week and the stunt coordinator will teach me little like fight thingies with punches and kicks and stuff. And uh, you just practice it and it's, it's like a dance. And I was a dancer my whole life and you just pick up on choreography really easily and you just kind of go with it and it looks really cool on camera. <laughs> and speaking of dancing, will you be breaking into any dancing anytime soon? Hopefully. I just I just took a dance class a couple weeks ago and I've really been trying to get back in the studio. It's just it's hard because I'm working so much. Uh, but dance is still such a love of mine and I'd really love to make some more time for it when I can. And what's your favorite type of dance? Contemporary. I love that. I mean, I love all types of dance. It's so hard to pick one, but I've always really just loved contemporary. Okay, and last question. I have to ask, you were blonde for the summer. Now you're brunette again. So what hair color is next? Oh, God. Um, well, I have to stay brunette for a little bit because of lab rats. Um, but I'm thinking about, I mean, when I first dyed it back to brown, it was like a very, very dark brown. And it's faded a little bit to sort of this light brown. I think next I want to go back to that super dark brown, like 
like almost black, but like not black, but like just super dark brown. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just that's what I'm feeling next. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Bye.